Hi, it's Paul again. This video is designed to help you get the most out of your P51 860 Titan digital manifold. Let's get started. First, power on the device by pressing the power button right below the LCD screen. By default, the P51 860 Titan will start up in the pressure temperature mode, displaying the high side and low side pressures. Plug the supplied temperature probes into the T1 and T2 ports on the back side of the manifold, and now you can also see the system high side and low side temperatures. In addition to the system pressure and temperature readings, the LCD also displays the battery level, the selected pressure and temperature units, the selected system refrigerant, and the session timer. To make any changes to the readings mode, measurement units, device settings, or system refrigerant, simply press any one of the four yellow buttons adjacent to the LCD display. This brings up the button webbing, allowing you to make the desired selection. When in pressure temperature mode, the bottom buttons on either side of the screen allow you to switch between the various pressure temperature readings configurations. The P51 860 Titan can display the system temperatures, the liquid and vapor saturation temperatures, or the system superheat and subcooling. The button webbing will disappear if no buttons have been pressed for four seconds. To change from the pressure temperature mode to the evacuation or pressure hold modes, click the modes button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Then use the up down buttons on the left side to navigate to the desired readings mode. Once the desired mode is selected, press the select button shown as a check mark in the upper right hand corner of the screen. To return to the previously selected readings mode, press the exit button shown as a back arrow in the bottom right hand corner. Want to update the measurement units, system refrigerant, or device settings? From any of the readings modes, click any button to populate the button webbing and select the settings button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Use the up and down buttons on the left side of the screen to navigate to the desired setting. From this screen, you can select the refrigerant, set the measurement units, change the device settings such as the backlight strength and auto off timer or zero the pressure transducers to ensure accurate readings for every job. Once all the desired settings have been selected, simply press the exit button to return to the readings mode. The evacuation mode makes it easy to evacuate a system with confidence. Plug the 67030 vacuum gauge into either T T2 on the back of the manifold for instant vacuum readings. The vacuum reading will be displayed as 100,000 microns from atmospheric pressure down to the 100,000 micron vacuum level. Once the system reaches a vacuum level below 100,000 microns, the vacuum gauge will provide accurate readings all the way down to 5 microns. To set the target vacuum level or target hold time, press any button to populate the button webbing and then select the settings you want to change. The target hold timer will start to deplete once the selected target vacuum level has been reached. This allows the user to ensure their system is below the desired target vacuum level prior to a leak test. Choose from six different target vacuum levels and seven hold times. Pressure hold mode allows you to check for system leaks, whether the system is in a vacuum or charged with nitrogen. Once pressure hold mode is selected, use the up, down, and select buttons to set the session type, either rise or decay, along with the hold limit and hold time. Once all of the settings have been set, select continue to enter the pressure hold reading screen. This screen displays the current pressure reading, or PC, the initial pressure reading, PI, the selected pressure limit, and the pressure rate of change. To begin the pressure hold test, press any button to populate the button webbing. Then select Set PI to start the pressure hold, and watch the pressure reading to confirm that the system has been successfully sealed and is ready for charging. If the system is unable to hold pressure for the selected test duration, the device will indicate a failure. But if the system is able to hold pressure beyond the selected duration, the device will indicate the system has passed the pressure hold test. The P51 860 Titan is equipped with a Bluetooth low energy radio to transmit the system readings right to your smartphone using the Yellow Jacket Mantooth app. 
The Mantooth app is available for download through the App Store or Google Play Store to display system readings on your iOS or Android smartphone or tablet. To pair your P51 with your iPhone or iPad, first make sure that the Mantooth 3.0 app has been successfully downloaded from the App Store. This device does not require the traditional connection through the Bluetooth settings utility on your iOS device. Instead, navigate directly to the Mantooth 3.0 app to establish the Bluetooth connection with your manifold. Select the desired session type and enter the applicable session settings, including the service location and equipment. From the Assign and Zero screen, select None Specified under Assign Detected Devices. Make sure your digital manifold is powered on and within range. The digital manifold Bluetooth ID should appear in the list of connected devices. This Bluetooth ID is conveniently labeled on the back of the digital manifold and starts with the characters YJP51. Select the digital manifold you'd like to display readings from and continue into the Session Readings screen. Regardless of the readings session selected on the manifold, it will automatically send the data needed for the session selected within the Mantooth app. To pair your P51 with your Android device, first make sure that the Mantooth 3.0 app has been successfully downloaded from the Google Play Store. Navigate to your Bluetooth settings and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. The Bluetooth name of the manifold is conveniently located on the back of the device. If you haven't previously paired with a digital manifold and the device is powered on, it should appear in the Available Devices menu. Select the appropriate unit from the Available Devices menu. Once you've paired with the device, it will be available in the Paired Devices menu. Next, navigate to and launch the Mantooth 3.0 app. Select the desired session type and enter the applicable session settings, including the service location and equipment. From the Assign and Zero screen, select the None Specified option and select your desired digital manifold by clicking the box to the right of its Bluetooth name. Once you've selected the desired device, select the Save icon in the upper right-hand corner. Select the Continue button when you're ready to begin your desired session. The P51-860 Titan Digital Manifold is equipped with internal data logging, which automatically saves each readings session. To access the data logs, plug the digital manifold into your computer or tablet with the provided USB cable. The digital manifold will be recognized as a removable disk, just like a thumb drive. And the data log CSV files will be listed by date code for easy access. If using the Manifold with the Mantooth app, a separate data log CSV file is created and can be saved or emailed from right within the app. These data logs can be referenced later through the Service History feature and are sorted by service location and equipment. If you're working in a dark room or an area with direct sunlight, the backlight can improve readability of the LCD display. To activate the backlight, tap the power button below the screen. The backlight intensity and timer can be changed from the device settings screen for proper screen visibility in any conditions. Keep in mind that the backlight intensity will limit the battery life, so keep the backlight level low when visibility is good. To charge the P51-860 Titan Digital Manifold, plug the included USB cable into the USB jack on the back of the device and plug the other end of the USB cable into a charging block or other electronic device. The green LED will illuminate when the manifold is being charged and will automatically turn off once the manifold battery has reached full charge. If you've got any additional questions, refer to the Quick Start Guide included with the unit or call tech support at Yellow Jacket. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.